Hey pal, long time no see here. It's been a couple months since my last video. If you haven't checked that one out, uh, make sure to watch that video and make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification while you're at it. YouTube bylaws demand that I mention the bell notification at every conceivable moment. Before we get started, today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. And no it's not, I wouldn't dare touch that game. I've seen enough of the exact same ad read to know that I'm not the target audience for that game. Also, no one knows I exist on here, so how could I even get a sponsor? Today's video is another episode of Why Would You Do This, where we explore the human psyche to uncover the mystery of how this garbage got made. We're going to be watching a low budget parody film called Avengers of Justice Farce Wars. I saw this at Walmart for like $12, and I'm starting to think I overpaid. Alrighty, starting out strong. Calling out your own lame design before you reveal it isn't meta or relatable. It's just bad. So just make a better character. There has been an awakening. Awaken. I'm up. I'm awake. What's going on? Uh, master, uh, you're up early. <laughs> What is thy bidding? The twins of Superbad turn 17 this morrow. The Foz is strong with the girl. For the boy, I feel it weak. Do you have the, uh, Star Death Crypto Tesseract thingamagoo? Yo! <laughs> oh. Alright, the CGI isn't awful. It's fine. It's not great, but it'll work. This makeup is terrible, and I don't think it's intentionally bad, like funny bad. I think it's just bad. Oh, come on. Free! Listen here, it's a stick up, see? Give me the cash. Come. Hey, 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 hey. don't move. This ain't no pea shooter. Hey, hey, hey. Come any closer, I'll clip him. Superbat wasn't even looking at you, he was looking outside. You just drew attention to yourself. <laughs> You could change. Hey! Get away from my car! What's wrong with you two? The car is a classic! What are you, nuts? It's okay, baby. Daddy's right here. Did they hurt you? Right, Daddy. Cool! Superbat is just terrible. Three minutes in, and I already don't care what happens to him. What the? With your hands up. Drop the pea shooter. Sorry. Oh, you think this is funny? Let's just give some ball back. You want your ball back? Here, get your ball back. I know I'm supposed to hate him since this is the first act of the movie, but this is unacceptable. The man is not a hero. Ah, oh boy, there's the bad CGI. Bruce Kent. Bruce Kent. That's what you're going with? Hey, buddy. Come on, buddy. Whoa. I love you. I love you. A bad movie. It's it's a bad movie, Indigo. It's not a good movie. It's very bad. I love you. What's up with the AC? I think the unit outside is broken. 
Oh, could this day get any worse? I get what they're trying to do, but that sequence didn't work. It just looked like two unrelated scenes glued together with a musical cue that served no purpose. What's wrong? The security company I applied to rejected me. Oh, honey. I'm so sorry. Serves you right not to get that job. You show a total disrespect for the public. I wouldn't trust you to secure yourself, honestly. Well, don't give up. I trust someone will hire you. I tried them all. Nobody wants me. Well, I want you to snap out of it. Today is not about your problems, and you are not going to hide in the mansion of solitude. Thank you! About time somebody calls this jerk out. I'm in here. Oh, Rhea, hey. Wait, how did you know that I was... I can read the thoughts of the weak-minded. Oh, okay, sorry. That's new, though. That's cool. It started this morning. I can't lift anything much heavier, but... I can do this. Whoa, look at you. Nice. You know, when your mom was young, she used to be able to make one. Oh, oh great, Dad. Thanks. Sorry. Anything else? It's just a force field. Make another one. Why are you so upset? It's easily fixed. Sorry to burst your bubble. <laughs> that, was, that was bad. No, uh, yes, I have to- Well, I don't care because the internet is down again. It's probably down because you put yourself in a force field. Tell him, Lucas. Tell me what? The AC's definitely broken. Did you break it? His stupid robot did. Hello, I am C-R-E-P-O, Human Cyborg Assistance Unit. Oh, I don't like that. And I have nightmares about that thing. Buddy. Oh, we were trying to fix it. I built them for you to help you around the house. Lucas, I mean, this thing is very creepy. Has this shirt been inside out this whole time? How did I not notice that? Look, stop fiddling with the robot and start concentrating on your superpowers like your sister. He's a late bloomer. Don't be a jerk. I don't see you using your powers. What if I never get my powers? Oh, Lucas. Go get your powers. Girls just mature faster than boys, which is why we lose ours earlier than you. Wait, you lose powers in this universe? This world sucks! Lithcore. So funny. I can hardly contain my laughter. Oh dear, that's not a convincing hairpiece. Clearly we're headed for a bald joke. My favorite. You look nothing like your MySpace profile picture. Well, beauty from the eye of the beholder, I always say. A MySpace joke? What year is this? What is this alternate universe where your powers fade when you hit your 40s and people still use a poor play on words version of MySpace? Who is this movie for? Anyway, shall we? After you. <laughs> What a lovely jester. I find that joke offensive. Only clowns are allowed to use that word. My apology. Just show me your toys. That was almost funny, but that pause from the dark jokester just killed it. It would have been better if it ended with Luther's line. Hey, hey, what are you biting me for? Haven't been in the man cave of solitude in a while. Hey, 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 don't touch that! God, Lucas, look what you did! Immediately touched it. Nice job, Lucas. Also, I like that he drops the belt in the wide shot, and then when it goes back to the close-up, he's holding the belt again. Sick continuity, guys. I told you not to touch this! I'm sorry, it was an accident. I'm it wasn't an accident. There was like five seconds between you holding the belt and the clip going off. Dad, I'm really sorry. You definitely seem sorry. Very convinced. No. Oh, she's everywhere! Oh, goodness. Mommy. She's ruined. I can fix it. Lucas, you're a walking disaster. Cut your losses. Get out. I that. <sighs> this kid has zero emotional range. Not surprising, considering he has an awful father. 
First, we need to kidnap Superbat's son. Yeah, anything to annoy Superbat. <laughs> and we take the superpowered DNA that lies dormant in his system. I'll leave that nerdy stuff up to you. And we'll splice his DNA with my current henchman, making super soldiers. Okay, enough! Jeez! What kind of plan is that? What makes you think any of the inane gene splicing garbage you just spat out will work? You can't even speak properly. Ah! Wow. That looks really dumb, Lisp. It looks like a coffee machine with a bunch of science stuff taped to it. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Oh, but jokester, looks are deceiving. Once this device is complete, we'll have the whole world bending at the kneecap. I don't care what explanation you have to justify this coffee machine taped to some wires. It's not good enough. Don't get too excited about your silly little doomsday device. Its powers are insignificant next to the naughtiness of the farce. Oh, the farce? Please don't try to threaten me with some mumbo. Oh, gosh, what's this? I find your lack of humor disturbing. <laughs> Stop it, you're tickling me. Stop. <laughs> Stop it, stop it, I'm gonna pee, I swear. Stop. The importance of this mission is no <laughs> laughing matter. <laughs> Put me down. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Dark jokester, you're a clown. Laughing is the only thing that matters. Oh God, this is terrible. Please make it stop. Surely we must be close to the end. Wait, nope. It's only been 15 minutes. So she says to me, hey, you forgot to save my husband. And I was like, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Not a joke. This party totally just got awesome. Oh my God, it's so <laughs> That was so unnatural. Where were you even going with that sentence before you saw Tony? Well, 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 if it isn't Ironing Man himself, Ironing Man. I don't know why I'm surprised. His last name is Starch, after all. And why would I expect something clever from this movie? Right. Do you know what a joke is? That wasn't the punchline. He just said something in Spanish. Mr. Starch, is it true? You invented... It, Lucas. Go find a superpower. Mr. Starch, I built it. <gasps> Big mistake, sister. Video game fight right now. Auto drive. That was weird. Yes, it was. Extremely weird, in fact. I don't even know how to unpack what Lucas just said. The oldest battle in history. Brother versus sister. Boy versus girl. X chromosome versus Y chromosome. Son of super bad versus the daughter of G Wonder. Luther, please stop talking. I get it. Player one, Randy. Player two, Randy. Oh, so it's a literal video game fight. What is the purpose of this? What does this have to do with the plot? Furthermore, what is the plot? Lisp, you're ruining my sound effects. <laughs> Sorry. So nobody sees the green-haired weirdo in the dark cloak hiding in the bushes in this small backyard? Okay. okay. Let me... Oh! Not good. What? If your heart iron thing is that weak, why is it out in the open? You just killed my hero. Lucas, you knocked my arm into oh, his- Oh, so it's my fault? A man is dead. Why are we being so casual about this? This universe blows. Just destroy this earth. We've done all we can. Humanity is lost. You didn't like him anyway. Nothing I do is ever good enough for you. What does that have to do with the fact that a man just died? I love how you can tell that his kick was so weak they had to cut to another shot where the robot fell over. Honey, that was crazy, right? I'm gonna... I don't want to hear it. I trust you will fix this. Now. Okay. Does he have the power to bring people back from the dead? A man died! Hello, Lucas. Rough day. Who are you? Oh, someone who sympathizes with certain situations. I'm sorry. What? It's really tough to understand you with so many S-words. 
really wasn't that hard to understand him. Uh, oh, another satisfied audience. <laughs> <laughs> Dark jokester. I knew that you oh. Oh. witnessed the full power of the naughty side of the farce. Now, Superman, you may die. Laugh. <laughs> okay, the villains deserve to win. These guys suck. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Sometimes I crack myself up. <laughs> so the force field can withstand the dark side of the farce. God, that hurts to say. But it can't handle Daddy Dearest touching it. What? This is the most gentle, weak-hearted faint I've ever seen. Whoa, this place is awesome. Oh, sour toxic shocks. I love these. But soon, you will learn to harness all of your powers, and we will rule the galaxy together. Okay. Yeah. Have some candy, boy. Just one, just one. And he's literally taking candy from strangers. Lucas deserves to die, I'll say it. So I was thinking, Dark Jokester said there's a naughty side of the farce. So if there's a naughty side, there must be a nice side as well. I know somebody who knows about this stuff. Who? Gandalf? Dumbledore? Obi-Wan. Star Wars exists in this universe where they're parrying Star Wars. Playing fast and loose with the rules, bud. This isn't some stupid science fiction or coming-of-age martial arts story. No, that's exactly what it is, except much worse. My father knew Dark Jokester. My real father. A long time ago, Dark Jokester came to destroy his planet, and that's why he put me in that gold spaceship that my Earth parents found me in. And then my Earth parents melted the spaceship down and cashed in the gold for billions. I never knew that about you. Me neither. I had to read it on my Wikipedia page. Then it must be true. What? Why does it matter? That didn't need to be in this scene. Non sequiturs aren't funny unless they have a main point to deviate from. When your movie is 90% randomness, it doesn't work. I have, I have a question. What if Lucas is just done with us? Think about it. I mean, he's 17 years old. Maybe it's time that we just let him go. Let him go? Yeah, honestly. He's better off without you. I want you to think and be very clear with your words. You want me to be clear with my words? Okay, how's this for clear? I have no job, no money, and my powers are evaporating. I just killed Tony Stark, so now the kids don't want me around anymore. And my marriage to Gene Wonder is, surprise, surprise, not wonderful. And now my car got stolen by your son, who's working with my father's murderer to become my new arch enemy. And to top it all off, I am now covered in my dead mother's ashes. Is that clear enough for you? Then leave. I'm not leaving. This is my house. Fine, I'll leave. Hit the head right on the nail, Bruce. You suck. Mommy. Please stop talking to your dead mother's ashes. It's weird. Bruce! <sighs> Ray is gone. Oh. Really? Come yes. on. You know, you say one thing to that girl. Rhea Gladys Kent! You said several things. She said one thing to you. She said she would leave. Now you're surprised she's gone. I think you really upset her last night. Please, I was just talking to her. She's so emotional at that age. She's emotional? What's your excuse? I'm gonna call Lando. I think he can fix this. No, no, I do not trust Lando. Why? Because he has dreads? No. Because he has an eye patch. Okay. Vaguely racist. Help me, Lando Fury. You're my only hope. She did it! She said the thing! First, we locate Lucas's superpower DNA that lies dormant in his system. Ooh, Lucas has eyeliner now. That means he's evil. It's weird. Almost feels like... Like what? Who said that? I'm ready. Oh, God! Oh. Ah, too much green. Why is his paint so bad? He looks like this on the cover, in case you've forgotten. You either do, or you do not. There is no trying. Okay, you just stole that line. Now, tell me about your powers. Powers? Really not much to tell. You know, 
I don't really have too many powers now. Although recently, the more angry I get, I guess the more powerful I am. I'm getting stronger. But I mean, I used to be, forget it. I was as powerful as a locomotive. I, I used to be faster than a speeding bullet and I used to fly. I mean, Gene and I would fly daily, like every day, sometimes two, three times a night. Oh, boy, did we fly. Mm. But then, you know, we had the twins and that took up a lot of our time. And then I figured I'd just fly by myself. But then, you know, you're up there and you're like, ah, I'm just a weird dude flying by myself. Are people looking at me? Do they feel strange? I feel strange. It's a very subconscious thing to be flying around and, and no one really notices. Or are they noticing? That's the weird thing. What are you blabbering about? So then I was just like, forget it, I'm not gonna fly anymore. But then one day I wanted to fly again, and then, ooh, I couldn't do it. So. Great. This is the first intentionally funny scene so far. <laughs> Wait, aren't you interested in apprehending an intergalactic criminal? Don't joke stuff. He's here in the city. He has my son and will probably soon have my daughter. Please? We talked to Tony Starch. Maybe he can get the team together for you. Let's just say we have some wrinkles to iron out. Disrespectful. The man is dead because of your husband. Clowns. Very suspicious. Oh, look. Dad's car. Lucas and that free can't be too far. Who is she talking to? Why is she yelling? She's gonna get caught. <sighs> Called it. Now, the darkest of gentlemen, it's time for the final piece. Behold. Yeah, baby. The far death crypto tetheract and all its apocalyptic lore. might want to stand back for this one. Gentlemen, it's gonna be an icy winter. Yes! Yes! It's working! Yes! Shut it down! Never! It just needs more power! I said shut it down! Never I say! Back! Back! Feel my power! Uh. Ah. I'm bald now, right? I, I don't notice anything, do you? <laughs> there it is! He's bald! What a hilarious joke! I think we should call the police. Call the police? Yeah. What would I say to the police? Gee, maybe you could mention the fact that you killed a man! I fulfilled my end of the bargain, Lisp. Wrong. You only fulfilled half of your half of the bargain. That's only a quarter of the bargain. I will fulfill my half of the bargain once you complete the whole of your other half. That's another two-eighths of a bargain. None of that math tracked. I can't. I can't do it. It's too heavy. Whoa! That was awesome! I wanna... I wanna do that. So much doubt in you. Ow! 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 You're complaining? Ow! You're whining? Me. You're still complaining? Me. You're still whining? I'm not. I told you a thousand times. Hold on. Whining again. What? I mean, are you going to continue to wear the most oh. string of pearls for the rest of your life? You must not give up, Superman. Master Yoga finally snapped. And the fact is this. I can't help that I love Gene. All right? I've always loved Gene. But what's even worse than that? said she loves you more than anything 
right? And I caught her, and I looked into her eyes, and you know what her beautiful blue eyes were telling me? I love super bad. I've been around for over 350 beaver years. If you add that up, that's over 350 years total. And the deal is this, I'm never gonna change. I'm a tough guy. I'm like John Wayne, but not John Wayne, I'm Beaverine. I'm just saying, you and I, let's get rid of these hard feelings between each other and know that we can be together. Not like intimately, but like friends. It's just hard for me to say these things because I don't experience a lot of emotions. And when I do, I get angry. What do you say? What do you say, pal? Good talk. That's pretty good. Props. I lost my whole family. Why am I the way I am? Huh? Why are you asking me? Because I have no one else to talk to. You are filled with negative emotion. A person's greatest strength comes from their effort and attitude. Embrace the farce, Dad. It's never too late to change. A puddle just came in his life. Did Bruce just die? Why did that make me happy? I can promise you, I did not die anytime soon. He's dying incredibly soon, probably within minutes. <laughs> Master Yoga deserved better. Hashtag justice for Master Yoga. Superhero of the year. Oh, ah, look at this. Superhero men's health. God, all the stuff. You, you're the problem. Ten minutes of character development right down the drain. Lucas, it's dad. Um, listen, I know it sounds crazy, but I, I just, I realize right now exactly how much you and your mother and your sister mean to me. And I'm not sure if you'll get this message or if I'll ever see you again, but... I want you to know something. I know that you're super nerdy and that you don't have powers yet, but... Do you ever consider that your son might be a super genius? Necesitamos un plan de ataque. Huh? Chico, necesitamos un plan de ataque. Plan of attack? This feels offensive. This is so ridiculous. Oh, I'm there it is! Even Gene admits it now. Look at me, buddy. None of this is your fault. It's my fault. I've made so many terrible mistakes. No, a lot of this is Lucas's fault. I'd say it's probably a 70-30 split. Mostly Bruce, but a lot of Lucas. I've been such a bad father and even worse, a worse husband. I'm so, so sorry. The old me is gone. I will... I will embrace the farce. Embrace the farce. I will embrace the farce. Now that's what I call character development. Oh yeah. Why is this going on so long? Dude, oh, please. Don't hurt me. Oh, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna tickle you. Really, really bad. No! I can no! <laughs> How dare you remind me of Jared Leto? So that's it? Oh, there's probably a mid-credit scene or something, right? Because it's a superhero movie. Plus Tony Starch is still dead, so we gotta bring him back. No? Just credits? 
Okay, Tony Stark is still dead. Okay, that sucked. What upsets me most is that it's not consistently bad or good. It's painfully mediocre. They saved all the heart of the movie for the last 15 minutes. I had to sit through over an hour of Bruce being a near irredeemable person. By the time he finally wised up, the movie was over. Now the scenes with Bruce and Master Yoga were genuinely funny. Shawn Michaels is hilarious. He's got like a Leslie Nielsen quality to him. He plays the deadpan delivery very well. Overall, this movie is weird and I don't know what its audience is. A lot of the humor is to be taken at face value, but then they try to incorporate some meta humor to poke fun at how ridiculous the jokes are. It feels like it doesn't know what it wants to be. Sometimes it tries to be a genuine parody and incorporate some actual elements of comedy, heart, uh, drama. Then other times it just feels like a really bad YouTube sketch that went for too long. Most of the movie is just really bad low brow jokes that just stomp out any true comedic value or emotional integrity that the film has. Overall it's not bad but it's not good. It's very mediocre. I just don't know why it exists and I can confirm that I most definitely overpaid. Oh, <laughs>